All right, this morning, where the heck are my keys? All right, here's something that's gonna totally blow your mind. Well, it blew my mind. I kind of knew about this before. I don't know where my book is, but a couple years ago I was working on becoming a personal trainer. Uh, with all my climbing, being physically active, adventure type stuff, I thought it'd be a really kind of a fun idea to be a personal trainer and help get people ready for treks and climbs and more outdoorsy adventure fitness type stuff, which I think still fits in kind of what I'm doing. And our family have recently been focusing on the fitness a lot, you know, getting ready for summertime, trying to lose a little weight, be more active. You know, some of my initiatives were to be able to um, use more human power and get out and run more, skateboard more, ride my bike more, whatever. But that got to me thinking about misconceptions in diet and fitness, fat, fat loss, weight loss, and that whole thing. Um, and really what happens, like the fat on your body, where it actually goes. Do you know where it goes? So when you work out, you do stuff when you're physically fit and moving around and you burn fat, right? And that fat goes away and you get smaller and thinner and lighter weight. Where does it actually go? Do you, do you poop it out? I don't, I don't feel like if I work out a lot, I poop more or that I specifically pee more. Generally, I drink more water and that moves through me. But where does the fat go? And I was doing some research and some homework and I came across Ruben Meerman and um, he's a chemist and he has a really awesome TED talk which I'm gonna put in the link below um, that you need to watch right now. Like after you watch this vlog, you watch this TED talk because it's gonna make a whole lot of sense and it might change a little bit of the way you think about your fitness, weight loss and getting healthy. Because here's, here's the kicker. That fat on your body, 84%, so if you took a little fat molecule, right? Your little blubber, wherever it is. 84%, okay, well, let me step back a little bit. That fat actually is broken down and you change it and then you get rid of it, okay? You don't poop it out, necessarily. Um, but, you a little bit you might. But here's the thing, that little fat thing that you convert, 84% of that turns into CO2, carbon dioxide. 16% of that actually turns into H2O. So that fat, you know, the little, that fat turns into carbon dioxide. <sighs> See that? And water. I'm going to show you that. 16% water, wherever it might come out of sweat, pee, whatever. 84% of it comes out as carbon dioxide out of your breath, out of your lungs, breathing. Is that crazy to you? Is it, it's crazy to me. So you need to watch the TED Talk and really learn a little bit more about this topic or, or how the science behind it works. The topic or the TED Talk I have right here is the mathematics of weight loss. Ruben Meerman, um, I'll link it below. Watch it for sure. It'll blow your mind. Now go work out. Really what it comes down to is eat less, move more, and keep breathing. So that's your mission. Get to it.